In this video, we'll review the five key metrics of the ACCE data so that local chambers of commerce can get a better idea of where they stand. It's important to remember the disclaimer in the previous video. If you've not seen the disclaimer, please make sure you take time to do so. So let's get started. First, ACCE categorized chambers by budget size. The overwhelming majority of SACA chambers fall into categories one and two. So make sure you locate your correct category when viewing the next few graphs. For all of the new chamber execs and board members watching today, if you don't get anything else from this video, then make sure you understand this graphic right here. Revenue in Chambers of Commerce is divided into two broad categories, dues revenue and non-dues revenue. Note that even the smallest Chamber of Commerce, that even among the smallest Chambers of Commerce, the median percentage of revenue derived from member dues compared to all other sources was evenly split. As Chamber budgets increase, the percentage of revenue that comes from member dues decreases. This is very important for your board members to understand because it demonstrates that only about half of your revenue should come from membership dues. Yes, you are a membership organization and it's important to grow, but the reality is this. Membership dues have a limited impact on the revenue of your organization. And understanding this fact alone will put you on the best path in your organizational planning and help you make better decisions. So where does the non-dues revenue come from? Well, as you can see, about 37% of the non-dues revenue comes from chamber events in category one. The bigger the chamber, the more that event revenue decreased among the respondents. Also in category one, 32% of the revenue among the respondents was derived from local convention and visitors bureau and the economic development organization. Those percentages increased as the chamber increased. The data does not tell us the nature of those relationships. It's likely that the chamber is administering those organizations or being compensated for providing services in some way. Again, understanding revenue composition within the chamber industry can help you assess your chamber's current position and help you make better decisions about the direction your chamber should go. In the next video, we'll dig into some membership data that can help you gain a greater understanding. We hope that you found this helpful, and as always, we welcome your feedback. We'd be glad to hear from you. Chamber on.